Hi everybody, Cheryl and Lady coming to you from the Ladies Garden and Home and today we're going to harvest some lavender. It's about time. when I first planted these they were such tiny little plants and I think I put five or six in and I tried to space them out thinking okay they'll grow and the first year they really didn't grow at all so this is their third year in the ground and they have really taken off the time to harvest lavender is when the buds are still pretty tight You can harvest them at this stage. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, just a couple of little flowers. But you really don't want to wait until this whole thing is budding. Because when you're saving lavender for whatever use, whether it's going to be used in soap making or a hanging bouquet or a sachet, tea, you're really saving the buds, not the flowers themselves. Oh. So ideally, and this could take a very long time if you have as much as I do, but say you don't have, um, you know, more than one plant or two, ideally the best place to clip them when you're harvesting them is right above these little um, leaves. Because what's going to happen is, if you harvest it in the right place, like this one, which I will show you. I clipped that here just a couple of days ago, and what happens is you've got two new flowers growing. So when you clip them in this way, you're really encouraging more growth, and you'll get a, a second flush, sometimes even a third. What I'm going to do is take a handful and just do my best to harvest above that leaf node for the most part. These are really starting to interfere with the garden bed underneath. got a big bag of lavender and now what do I do with it besides sticking my nose in here so there are a couple of ways I like to dry um, herbs and lavender but my favorite way to dry lavender and preserve it is a very simple method that they've been doing for generations and that is simply make a little bouquet and hang it upside down. I prefer to put them in my closet to let them dry. So to tie them up you could either use twine or a rubber band. A rubber band works really really well because as they dry they shrink and the rubber band will move with them but I have twine out here so I'm just gonna a little bow just make sure you've got them all in and I kind of like to leave them kind of natural looking with different lengths but if you wanted to make them all the same 
length, that's fine too. There you go. And I'm just gonna hang this up in my closet. I will tell you that once they start to dry, um, they will stop dro start dropping to the floor, which is messy, and I don't like that. So to finish off the drying process once that happens, um, I move them to a paper bag, and I continue to dry them um, in the bag. It also makes it very easy when it's time to put them away to just they just fall off. Of course, you can make your hanging bouquets a lot more neatly than I did. Um, some people make wreaths out of them. They look beautiful. But um, for my purposes, I'm really, I want two things. I want them to make my closet smell nice, and I want them to be preserved so that I can dry them and use them in sachets. So Feel free to make them as bushy um, or as pretty as you'd like. Maybe put a little bow in if you'd like. But the important thing is hang it upside down because you want the buds to dry that way. Uh, if you hang it this way, they're just going to flop over like that. I highly suggest, if you don't have any yet, to get um, a lavender plant in your garden. It is such a wonderful flower to grow. There's so many different uses for it from making soaps, which I don't do, um, to putting it in tea and drinks and food. And as you can see, the bees absolutely love it. And um, it's good to bring pollinators into your garden. And it's nice to do so with something that makes your garden smell so good. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. And um, I hope you subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the alert bell so you know when new videos come out. Anyway, from the ladies garden and home, enjoy your gardening journey. Bye. Say goodbye, lady. What do you think? Do you like lavender? Mm -hmm. Do you like that? Do you like lavender? Yes? Not so much? Lady says goodbye.